Mate, you're making me claustrophobic. I can't breathe. Can you shift back a little bit? Stuff it, I'm going. Hey, hey, that's right, you got it. We're gonna talk about a Mark IV Mondeo diesel fuel vaporizer. And I know, I know, I've already made a video on this, but I'm just gonna take a closer look at the vaporizer itself today. No, I've not hurt my hand. This is a Snap-on Solus Ultra. Let's see what it says, shall we? On this Snap-on scanner, this is a 2014 Ford Mondeo two litre diesel. But the number or the letter represents a different engine code. So you've got to understand, some of these may not have these vaporizers. And if I scroll down the list, I am familiar with the engine code U. I know for definite that these engines with the engine code U are fitted with a vaporizer. And let's just get something perfectly clear here. If you have engine malfunction or service required, on your dash and your car's going into limp mode so you need to follow some kind of logical checking procedure before you condemn any parts so you're probably going to need your vehicle hooked up to a diagnostic machine and have the ecu codes read it'd also be pretty handy if you had a mechanic who actually is familiar with this system because if you do not know about these vaporizers it could take some time to work it out. So let me just quickly run you through a new vaporizer. Diesel fuel is gonna be pushed along this pipe via a little pump. Fuel will then go into the main body of this vaporizer and there's a glow plug here. That is gonna heat the fuel up. The fuel's then passed to the end of this vaporizer and squirted out of that hole. The fuel will be squirted out of this hole during regeneration. And regeneration normally happens when you are driving at speed on the motorway. If your diesel particulate filter cannot regenerate itself, temperature and soot accumulation levels will be relayed to the engine ECU. The ECU will flip out. It will say stuff this and stick your car in reduced power mode or limp home mode. That would be a good time to take it to a garage. Okay, this is one I've just removed from a vehicle where the hole is blocked up. And just for comparison's sake, you can see the hole in the new one. So where the hole is, you can see it's full of soot. I'm literally getting this pick in here. It's just absolutely full of crap, and the fuel can't get out. I'm now going to chop this open, just to see how bad it is. Yeah, and this is absolutely full of carbon in here, which is just blocking it all up. And it's actually crispy. I'd have to get a drill bit in there and try and dig it all out. So you see the whole length of this nozzle is going to get blocked up with carbon. And you're not really going to be able to get it out. So really the best, the best policy all around would be just to replace it. To give you an idea of how tight these nuts are. I used a 22 mil spanner and a bloody scaffold pole. But hey, guess what? If you've got one of these babies, you can always try heating it up. Well, that's it then. I'm bored. I've nothing more to say about Mondeo diesel fuel vaporizers. So let's put this where it belongs, in the trash can. <laughs> You know, we could talk about my fantastic tiling job. You can see it's a perfect colour match, can't you? <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, and just in case you would like to purchase yourself a vaporizer unit, here's the part number. So that's it for today. See ya. I can't breathe. Ha ha ha.